Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding project employees part 3 and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Ok, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called project with two different columns, project ID and employee ID and the data type being integers. The combined column project ID and employee ID is the primary key of this table. Employee ID is also a foreign key to the employee table. So basically there is a second table as well. Each row of this table indicates that the employee with employee ID is working on the project with project ID. So which employee is basically working on which project? Uh, this table shows that. We are also given a second table called employee with three different columns. Employee ID, name and experience and these are their data types. Employee ID is the primary key of this table. Each row of this table contains information about one employee. Since employee ID is primary key, so obviously this line makes more sense, right? We are asked to write a SQL query that reports the most experienced employees in each project. And if there is a tie, report all employees with the maximum number of experience years. The order of the result doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go through this example. So we have the project table, we have the employee table. So for example, if you see on project ID 1, right? So there are three employees working, 1, 2 and 3. So 1, 2 and 3, their experiences are 3, 2 and 3. So if you see the maximum experience is 3 and since there is a tie between 1 and 3. So for project ID 1, employee ID 1 is also working. For project ID 1, uh, employee ID 3 is also working and their max, their experience years is the maximum, right? So for one uh, project ID 1, it would be two rows. For project ID 2, people two people are working 1 and 4. So 1 has experience of 3 years and 4 has experience of 2 years. So the maximum is this one. So for project ID 2, the employee ID output would be only 1 because that is the maximum. And if you see, this is the output. Okay. So since the information is in two different tables, the first thing that we should do is we should join the project table and employee table on the employee ID column. Then what we need to do is we need to keep certain rows and calculate and create a new column which can uh, which calculates for each of the project ID what is the maximum experience of years, right? And then using the common table expression, uh, we can. Uh, return and filter based on wherever the experience years is equal to the maximum value you return that rows right okay so let's start developing this so the first thing to do is to perform a join so from the project table alias sp left join the employee table alias as e on p dot employee id is equal to e dot employee id and then what all rows we are required since the output has only project id and employee id and then we need to uh, you know calculate the maximum from this and we also need uh, it to this uh, column to basically compare right from the common table expression so we only need four columns project id employee id this column and the fourth column that we are creating right so let's return these so select p dot project id p dot employee id now you might think like instead of writing all these columns one by one what if we just write select star and then uh, you know comma and then create that new column so if you do that since we are performing a join and both the tables have same name of the column so it would be leading to an error that you know uh, there is an ambiguous column name because both tables have same name right so that is why we need to specify so p dot employee id the third thing that we need is experience years so it is in the employee table so e dot experience years and the fourth column we need to create so how can we create like based on each of the project what is the maximum experience years we need to use window functions so since we are using a window function we need to write over clause so over then partition by what we partition by project id right project id in p dot project 
id so for each of the project so this is one partition this is another partition so for each of the partition what we need to do is we need to calculate the maximum value from the experience years so e dot experience years and let's alias it as something as let's say max exp right so now what this will be having so basically it will be having this table and along with this new columns right so since uh, we are performing a join so it will be finding okay one is Khaled experience three so Khaled experience three for then two is Ali experience two and so on and then we are creating the fifth column which is finding okay so for project id one the maximum experience from the, the fourth column like when we are joining this the experience is coming from this column right so for uh, uh, project id one this this partition one two and three between one two and three the maximum experience is three so the uh, for fifth column will be having three 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 for project id one and for two it is you know between one and four so one and four maximum experience is again three so it will be having three and three as well right so now once we have that we can save it in a common table expression right and now using this common table expression what we can do is from this common table expressions we are only keeping those rows where the experience years remember we have the experience years column in the common table expression so where experience years is equal to the maximum value right so maximum experience years so this column is aliased as max exp right so max exp and then what you need to return is you return the project id and the employee id may remember since we have all these ex these four columns right we have project id we have employee id we have experience years we have max x column as well so that is why we are able to use a common table expression so if you don't save a certain you know, column in your common table expression you cannot return it right so it's just uh, basic sense right so yeah once we do that since we the order of the result doesn't matter let me go ahead and run this to see what happens so yeah, this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases so yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again medium difficulty question not so difficult all we had all we need to do was perform a join with between the tables then you know calculate the, for each of the project ids we need to calculate the maximum experience save it in a common table expression and then using the common table expression we are only keeping those rows where max uh, experience years is equal to maximum experience you know and then returning the project id and the employee id right so this is how we do it let me know if you find any other solution let me know if you find any way of doing it without a common table expression uh, let me know in the comment section and until then i will see you guys in the next video